Facebook just announced they're taking away targeting options for housing ads in 2019. So what does this mean for the real estate professional, the mortgage loan officer? Well, in today's video, we're going to go over a strategy that you can use that won't make this a huge deal for you and your Facebook advertisements. Hey there, if you're new here, my name is Adam Middlesworth. I help you go further, faster with digital marketing. If you like that sort of thing, make sure that you subscribe to my channel, click the bell icon so that you're notified of new videos every single week to help you go further, faster with digital marketing. In today's video, we're gonna talk about the strategy that you can use for your housing, your real estate, your mortgage ads after Facebook takes away all the targeting options that we recently discovered they're gonna take away. And I'm gonna share with you why this isn't a big deal. Um, all of my clients and all of you uh, who subscribe to my channel reached out to me and you know, you're asking, hey, is this a big deal? You're shooting me the article. Um, and I'm just, it's not a big deal to me. This happened a year ago, they took away a lot of targeting options. They're going to continue doing that for uh, specific niches right so the housing um, credit uh, I think employment stuff like that right and they really just don't want you to discriminate uh, against certain people so they're going to be taking away age ranges zip codes um, being able to identify by race right so those sort sort of things aren't what you really want to do anyway uh, the only big one there for us would be age but I'm going to show you how you can get around that so the first reason that this isn't a big deal is because it might limit barrier to entry. So some real estate agents might look at that and say, oh, well, I'm not going to run Facebook ads then. And that allows you to be creative with your real estate marketing uh, and allows you to actually grow your business with Facebook ads while others might not start ads anymore, right? Which is pretty cool. It allows you to be more creative and more important than ever is your ad and your message. Your ad and your message has to be on point with who you want to target because you might have to do a little bit more open-ended targeting if you don't know the ins and outs of interest targeting, which we'll get into in a little bit. So your creative has to be engaging. It has to be exactly what your audience wants because if you um, aren't going to do a whole lot of interest targeting and, and figuring that out, um, then you're going to have to be direct with your message, right? So creative ways to actually get in and target people by age, right? So if you're looking for the first time home buyer, you're just going to have to do what's called a customer avatar. And this is what we do with our clients right now, right? Um, and I don't think that Facebook's going to take away a whole lot of interest targeting. So you can still target people based on what they're interested in on Facebook. So if they're interested in you know real estate broker sites you're still going to be able to target real estate uh, broker interests right so if they're clicking on a lot of real estate sites um, or, or pages within Facebook you're going to be able to target them still uh, other things that you can do to find the age ranges that you want is well you know you go after mill what Millennials <laughs> what Millennials are interested in and you create that demographic the same thing if you're looking to uh, target people 55 plus you would go and find things that they are specifically interested in in your area right so they're probably you know looking towards retirement they're looking towards you know getting Social Security checks and things of that nature right so you would um, target people based on those interests um, and you can you can have your ad and your message and your creative talk directly to those folks. Um, so you'd have a 55 plus you know list of homes um, with communities in the area or whatever, right? Uh, same thing with your first time home buyer ad creative. It would be targeted, uh, directed towards those people. So you're gonna have interest targeting that allows you to get a demographic of people. Right, you might be looking for first time families who have little kids. You're still going to be able to do some of that interest targeting. We don't know the extent at which you'll still be able to do it because they are going to limit it. But at the same time, I would not freak out quite yet 
uh, until you see exactly what they're limiting you to, my guess is you'll still have quite a few options to choose from, you'll be able to find uh, your niche of people that you're looking to target. And you're still able to do custom audiences, which means you upload your current list, uh, your database, and target just those people. You can target people from your website, you can target people from other areas of your business, not just uh, Facebook interest targeting. That's where you really get into uh, Facebook success in advertising is when you get into custom audiences and things of that nature. And the last thing is, guys, if you're interested in high intent buyers, people searching out homes for sale in Dallas, homes for sale in Denver, homes for sale in Indianapolis, then I would encourage you to click the link below and have a chat with me. Um, I have a strategy that allows you to find high intent buyers and get appointments for under $20 uh, per appointment. So if you're interested in that kind of thing, click on that link. It'll take you in through Messenger, ask you a few questions, and then you'll be able to book a call with me if it makes sense. Guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, comment down below any of the questions that you have, any of your concerns that you have. Uh, if you need any clarification, I would love to help you in the comments below. Guys, if you want to go further faster with your digital marketing, make sure that you subscribe to my channel. I come out with new videos every single week on helping you go further faster with digital marketing. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.